Hello friends, welcome to Electrical and Instrumentation Engineering YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about the most important topic of electrical department that is the electricity bill analysis. I request all of you to complete the video by watching this and after watching the video you will be understand the following the terms which are mentioned in the electricity bills. For example, I which I have shown in the diagram that is the contract demand, maximum demand, what is the meter constant, power factor and fuel adjustment con uh, cost also we uh, I have given you the tips to save the electricity bill and also my I have shared my personal experience in the end of the video how I saved the electricity bill in my working company also this video is important because it will helpful for your cost management energy efficiency and budget planning and keep watching this video you will understand in the all the terms in the screen left portion of the video I have included the electricity bill and highlight in the few, few terms that is RR number, tariff and subdivision and marked as a number 1, 2 and 3. Let's see one by one. The RR number. The full form of RR number is revenue registration number which will be assigned to the consumer installation and assigned by the electricity supply company. Now the second term is tariff. A schedule of standard charges for specified services. The schedule of standard charges mean the charges will be applied to the HD consumer and the consumer based on the services taken by the consumer. And the third one is the subdivision. The electricity division, the electricity division of the area who will give services to the consumer and keep accountability of the all the bill. The services means there is a problem in the main line, there is a problem in the main line fuses, and there is a problem in the breaker from switch gear and anything. The services will be given with the electrical division. And also they will give the bills at the end of the month and they will keep all the accountability related to your bills. Billing month. It indicates that bill for the month of October 2022. The electricity usage means the period between the two consecutive meter reading. Every month we will receive the bill that is mentioned in the billing month. And next one is reading date. It indicates that electricity supply company has taken the energy reading from the consumer side energy meter on 1st November 2022 which is the billing month of October 2022. And the pay by date. The electricity supply company has given a deadline or final date to the consumer for paying the bill amount of uh, uh, some amount by the end of 15th November 2022. They have given a 15th deadline to pay the entire amount otherwise they will add a penalty. And next one is a billing number. It indicates that number of the uh, number of the bill submitted by electricity supply company which will change every month for their electricity supply company reference. Contract demand it is the very important term the electricity bill. In this bill, the contract demand is mentioned as a 500 kVA. It means that the load in kVA mutually agreed between the electricity supply company and the consumer has entered in the agreement. It can also be called as a sanction load by electricity supply company so that the consumer has to utilize 500, up to 500 kVA. If he uses 500, more than 500 kVA, the other charges will be applied. The next one is 85% uh, of contract demand. The electricity supply company is charging the contract demand 85% of the contract demand charges, that is, for 500 kVA, 85% means 425 kVA. And next one is the recorded demand. That is, in this bill, the recorded demand is 354 kVA, which is actual or real, the uh, real of which consumer has used this load. Means, the consumer utilizes the peak load from electricity supply company, which is 354 kVA maximum in the month of October 2022, which is recorded in the energy meter. And the billing demand. In this bill, the billing demand is 425 kVA, which is 85% of the contract demand, that is 500 kVA. If, it, if the consumer used less peak load, then it will reflect as a 425 kVA only. If the consumer is utilized more than 425 kVA, then the new value will reflect in the billing demand. Suppose if the consumer utilized more than 500 kVA, the new value will reflect in the billing. Also, they will add the demand charges extra on the billing side. MD meter. It refers to the maximum demand in the meter. That means average amount of kilovolt ampere delivered at the point of supply to the consumer and recorded during a 30 minute period maximum using this month. Means consumer has utilized a maximum uh, peak load at, uh, in the duration of 30 minutes from the electricity supply company which is recorded in the meter is known as a maximum demand in the meter. Next one is a KWH meter. It stands for kilowatt hour meter. It is the equipment used for the measuring electrical quantities like energy in KWH, maximum demand in KVA, reactive energy in KVA, and also it measures the power factor. A KWH meter is connected with the current transformers and potential transformers. Next one is power factor. It is the very important factor. It is the imp very important term in the electricity bill. 
power factor mean the ratio of kilowatt to kilo kv kilovolt ampere that is kwh by kva in this means the power factor is 0.72 which is very less and we will discuss about the power factor matter at the end of the video it is the average pf from the electronic trivector meter in the month of october 22 which is displaced at a 0.72 in the electricity bill in this screen we will discuss about the following term that is time zone ir fr and consumption first we will understand the time zone the time zone refers to the time of delay in the meter which records the time uh, demand time and energy usage of electricity in our bill the demand time is divided into four zones the four zones are 6 to 10 10 to 18 18 to 22 and 22 to 20, uh, 22 to 6 and subsequently energy usage per so uh, for the month of october 2022 is calculated by the meter and attached in the electricity bill in the 6 to 10 the consumer has utilized 82825 kwh 10 to 18 consumer has utilized 5050 kwh 18 to 22 to hours 4925 kwh and 22 to uh, 6 hours 2875 kwh has utilized next one is the ir which is called initial reading the final reading taken during the previous month will be the initial reading of the billing month here the billing month is october 2022 the final final bill taken in the month of september will be the initial reading for this month next one is the final reading the reading recorded at 2359 that is last minute of the last day in the billing month is called the final reading next one is consumption it is the energy used by the consumer in kwh in the billing month here the billing month is october 2022 and the consumption is 95675 units used by the consumer that is mentioned in kwh now observe the electrical bill i have highlighted the section how maximum demand and kwh units is calculated as per the reading the present reading taken on november 1st 2022 maximum demand reading is 0.1415 and the kwh meter reading is 1570.81 Previous reading on 1st October, maximum demand meter reading is 0 and KWH meter reading is 1532.54. Here, observation thing is, maximum demand meter is 0 because after every month, the maximum demand meter will be reset to 0 and again it will start reading the first, of, uh, the, uh, first day of the month. Now, we will look into the section of difference, how maximum demand meter and KWH meter difference is calculated. by subtracting the uh, 0.1415 into 0 we will get the difference of 0.1415 in the maximum demand meter and by subtracting the 1532.54 in 1570.81 we will get the difference of kwh is 38.27 kwh now the meter constant in the maximum demand meter and kwh meter the meter constant is referred as 2500 Understanding the meter constant concept in electricity bill is very important. What is meter constant? The number of revolution made by the energy meter per kWh per kilowatt hour is known as the energy meter constant. Every energy meter has a constant. Here, our energy meter having a 2500. So it is rep represented by the revolution per kWh. What happen in the modern electronic energy meter? There are no rotation disks are available. So instead of rotation disk, the manufacturer will provide the blinking LEDs. So the LED will blink 2,500 times per kWh. Hence, the meter constant is referred as 2,500 in the energy bill. Now we'll understand the consumption. How consumption of maximum demand in kWh is calculated? See, the difference is multiplied to the meter constant. We will get the consumption total. So multiplying the 2,500 with the maximum demand of 0.1415, we will get the consumption of 354, which is mentioned in the electricity bill. And by multiplying the 2,500 meter constant with the kWh difference, that is 38.27, we will get the kWh in units, that is 95,675 units, which is going to be charged. That is mentioned in the net consumption, that is 95,675 in the electricity bill. This is how consumption is calculated: meter constant multiplied multiplication of difference. Now I have highlighted the area where uh, electricity bill is going to be calculated. Now the first section is demand charges one. The units is mentioned as 425 because our contract demand is 500 kVA and electricity company is going to charge for 85% of contract demand which is 425 kVA. So rate per unit is 6 to 265 rupees per kVA. So multiplication of 425 with 265 
the total amount will be at one lakh twelve thousand six hundred and twenty-five rupees. This is fixed charges every month. Whether you use electricity or not use electricity, you have to pay one lakh twelve thousand six hundred and twenty-five rupees because we have applied for a five hundred kva as a contract demand. Now EC one first lap. It means electricity charges one in the first lap. So in the consumption section, we have known that. The total units consumed is ninety-five thousand six hundred and seventy-five kWh. Here, the electricity supply company is charging seven rupees thirty-five paise per kWh. It means the multiplication of units into the rate, we will get the total amount. Here, the total unit is ninety-five thousand six hundred and seventy-five units, and the rate per unit is seven rupees thirty-five paise. Electricity company is charging. So, the total amount calculated is seven lakh three thousand two hundred eleven point twenty-five rupees. Now we understand the section of FAC. What is FAC? The FAC is called Fuel Adjustment Cost. It is also called as a FPPCA. That means Fuel and Power Purchase Cost Adjustment. Because the electricity supply company will apply this FAC in on the bills because of varying price of fuel or coal. We all know the price of the fuel or coal changes every month based on the demand and supply of coal. Hence, the cost for producing the electricity changes accordingly. Every month, electricity charges will be changed based on the Prices of fuel or coal. In our bill, the FAC is mentioned as 0.61 paise per unit. So multiplying the 0.61 paise per with the unit is 95,675. We will get the total FAC charges is 58,361.75 rupees. Now the section is the tax section. The electricity tax applied only to the energy charges, not for the demand charges and fuel adjustment cost. So in our bill, the electricity company has charged the energy charges is seven lakh three thousand two hundred eleven point twenty five rupees, and in our state, the charges for electricity is nine percent. So nine percent of seven lakh three thousand two hundred eleven is sixty three thousand two hundred eighty nine. You can multiply zero point zero nine, but with the seven lakh three thousand two hundred eleven point twenty five, we will get the result as sixty three thousand two hundred eighty nine, which is the electricity spot mentioned in the. Electricity bill. Here, PF penalty is fifty one thousand six hundred and sixty four point fifty five. So, what is PF penalty? It is the power factor penalty. So, why fifty one thousand six hundred and sixty four is calculated and mentioned in the bill? Let's see the calculation. The electricity supply company always demand all HT consumers to maintain the power factor of zero point ninety or above. In case of failure of maintaining zero point ninety. Then the surcharge of three paise per unit will be levied for every reduction of power factor. Let's see the calculation. The electricity supply company has a standard power factor to be maintained. Mentioned, uh, maintained is to be zero point ninety, and in our bill the power factor is highlighted, which is zero point seventy two. So the power factor lagging is zero point one is. That that is the difference between the zero point ninety and zero point seven two is zero point one a. Now the electricity supply company will add surcharge. That means three paise per unit. The surcharge will be added, and the total units consumed in the electricity bill is ninety-five thousand six hundred and seventy-five. That all we know. Now the multiplication of the power factor lag, that is a zero point one eight, with the surcharge along with the kWh consumed, that is zero point one eight into three into ninety-five thousand six hundred and seventy-five. We will get the power factor penalty, that is fifty-one thousand six hundred and sixty-four point fifty. Now the section is the bill amount. It is the total bill amount of electricity bill. It is the addition of demand charges, energy charges, fuel adjustment cost, tax, and PF penalty will be the total bill amount. Here the total bill amount is nine lakh eighty nine thousand one hundred and fifty two, which is summation of all the factors I mentioned now. After knowing the how electricity bill is calculated, now let's see the some other tip. That is how to save the electricity in three steps I have given. We have to conduct the energy audit in the point number one. I have mentioned the conduct energy audit. We have to conduct energy audit for a uh, regular period because it says that the, some of the equipments are getting older and they are lagging in power factor. They will identify the energy auditor will identify the such devices and cable and they will ask us to re replace and they will give you some hint to uh, replacement of those units. So by doing that, the energy wasted will be the reduced. And hence the energy will be saved in, by conducting the energy audit. The second point is the usage of LED lights because nowadays we are using the tube lights and the uh, sodium vapor lamps and mercury vapor lamp that is going with the, that will consume high amount of uh, electrical power and give you less luminous of light. 
but the led lights will consume very less power of um, electricity electricity and they will give a high dominance of light so uh, electricity charges will be reduced and the life of the led lights also very higher the life of the led lights higher the electricity bill will also be reduced with the usage of led light and the maintenance of power factor because in our bill we have seen that the non maintenance of power factor by doing non maintenance of power factor the we have got a penalty around 51664 rupees that is very important in maintaining the power factor so we should use a capacitor bank in our industry and give a reactive energy to the system so hence the maintenance of power factor is very important by avoiding the energy meter we have got the power factor penalty because there is a flash over in the automatic power factor control apfc panel and breaker so hence we got the power factor penalty the next month we have attained that issue and the now the power factor is maintaining 0.90 and above and we are not getting any penalty because of maintaining power factor very well now i am going to share my personal experience in saving the electricity bill of my company so after i joined my duties i have observed that the electricity bill and found that contract demand was 2000 kv with the electricity supply company but the recorded kv in the bill was very less than 400 kv I have cross checked the recorded KVS for previous 6 months bill and took the average of all recorded KVS it was still under 400 KV only at that time our company was receiving the demand charges are as following that is the 85% of contract demand that is 2000 KV 85% is 1700 multiplication of 265 rupees per KV that is electricity of the company is going to charge when the total amount will be 4 lakh 50500 rupees per month our company was receiving the fixed charges from electricity supply company So I have informed our team management and experienced uh, and explained to revise the contract demand from 2000 kV to 500 kV. Our management has approved to proceed the same, and it took for me around three to four months to complete all the official formalities and finally got the official memorandum from Electricity Supply Company bill that I have uh, uh, the contract demand is 500 kV only. So after replacing the contract demand to from 2000 kV to 500 kV in our electricity bill. the demand charges fee is 425 multiplication of 265 that is 112625 rupees in our electricity bill instead of 450000 so personally i have said the electricity bill of rupees 337875 rupees per month to my company by reducing the by reducing the contract demand thank you for watching this video this video helps to understand the electricity bill analysis Next to my videos, the electricity bill analysis will be in Hindi and Kannada language. After completing of the Hindi and Kannada language of electricity bill analysis, I am going to release the next video about the power cable and control cable. It contains information regarding the power cable and control cable. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe this video, which will help me to boost, uh, create, and create an, uh, any other videos for uh, related to the electrical instrumentation department. If you have any queries uh, related to the electricity bill, in this video please comment on the comment section so i will try to reply on all of you thank you